My heart beats fast and my palms are sweaty. I can feel butterflies in my stomach. I think I'm having an anxiety attack. I am Kizel Jackson Crookshank and welcome to Crash Class. Can you relate to that feeling? Have you ever experienced math anxiety? Very often people say things like, I am not good at math. Ooh, neither am I. Ah, only you have the power to make a label stick. So now I'm going to reverse that cognitive memory and I'm going to put in that data, that math, mathematics is easy. Say it with me. Math is easy. Easy as one, two, three. Now today I'm going to show you how. Very often when we experience anxiety, we in fact decrease our working memory because we use up the cognitive resource that we have to use for an exam or for a math test or just to do it and we replace it with self-doubt and then we decrease our basic ability to do sometimes casual um, equations. So let's get right into it today. I'm going to show you how easy it can be. We will start with multiplication and some of the more challenging ones, for example, is the nine times table. Do you know your nine times table? One, nine is nine. Two nines are... Two nines are 18. Three nines are... Uh, what is three nines? Three nines? Look at me. This is one by nine. So I'm going to start first with a number sequence. Pay attention, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What is she doing? Pay attention. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I told you math is easy as one, two, three. So we do it in nine time table from one to ten. And I'm going to teach you a very easy method to record it. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then I put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But is it right? 9 by 1 is 9. 9 by 2, bring out your calculators. I know you're trying to, to, to see if it is actually working. 9 by 2, 18. 9 by 3, 27. 9 by 4, 36. 9 by 5, 45. 9 by 6, 54. 9 by 7, 63. Woo! 9 by 8, 72. 9 by 9, 81. 9 by 10. Scrap, 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 scrap. Hey! Math is hot. Now, I will show you what I got. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you time to calculate. Let's do it over one more time. So you have your calculator and it's open. Let's go again. An easy hack to remember the nine time table from one to ten. So we go with zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes? I'm going here now. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. So you will never, never, never see that math is hard. So you may be saying, okay, so Kizel, if I'm in an exam and I get like nine, like three times nine, 
Am I going through all this struggle to get the answer? Do I have to put the whole hack? All right, I'm going to show you another easy method from one to 10 again. How about if the examiner gives you something like three times nine? An easy way to recall, this is not here, so you don't have this, but time is of the essence, mental math. So, one less than three is two. Two from nine is seven. That's it. That's your answer. Mm -hmm. See? What did she just do? Let's try another one. How about if you have four times nine? Quick way to find the answer. One less than four is three. Three minus nine is six. Let's go again. How about six times nine? One less than six is five. Five from nine is four. Same answer. Let's do another one. Eight times nine. One less than eight is seven. Seven minus nine is two. And there you go. It's as easy as that. No need for anxiety. Today I am your math guru and I'm going to show you how I'm going to bring math easy, easy for you. Just pay attention to my calculation. Today we're going to multiply any two digit number by 11. Bring out your calculator if you wish to challenge me, it is no problem. Very quickly I can tell you the answer is 253. And if I have to multiply, let me say 41 by 11, very quickly I can tell you the answer is 4 by 1. Now if I have to multiply 34, let's do that before, by 11, very quickly I can tell you the answer is 374. Have you seen the sequence? So any number that you're multiplying by 11, oh you love my accent, do you want me to drop the accent? You want me to keep the accent? I'm waiting for you to tell me. Keep the accent? You love the accent. Today I love the accent. I can feel free to be whoever I want to be. Okay, life is a stage. And believe me, I am your guru. So any two digit number, for example, multiply by 11, all you do in this first one, pay attention. We brought the first number right here. We brought the last number right here. And then we add the first number to the second number. And you get three plus two is five when you get the middle number. Again, here, we had four ones. So four will always be here and one will always be here. So basically the number that you always calculate is the middle number. Look at it. Now let's try another one. So say we have 27 multiplied by 11. So we are sure about the two when we are sure about the seven. Can somebody tell me what is the middle number? Of course, bravo, bravo, bravo. You're doing very well, my friend. The middle number will be nine. Now bring out your calculator. And what if you have 29 by 11? You will say, ah, oh, I think I got her there. So will it still be two and will it still be nine? So let's do the addition. So 2 plus 9 is 11, right? 11. So what are we going to do? We will take the one from here and we will add another one right here and we will get 319. So if the number adds up to more than 10, we bring the additional number right here. So let's do another one. What about if it's, um, let me see, 3, seven multiplied by 11 yeah so okay Kizel will the first number be three and the last number be seven but three plus seven is ten so we know for sure we have a zero right there and this number we'll bring over the one from there and add it right here so we get 407 so today, my friends, I have showed you how to quickly, very easy, mentally calculate any two-digit number by the number 11.